The way a typical Flash movie is going to play back for your users is it's going to play through any number of frames that you give it. So the first thing we want to do is look at the items that we have on the stage and see how we can add frames to them. Now I'm going to pick out the items in the photo montage layer. Currently that consists of just the bitmap that we placed there in the previous chapter. If I wanted to increase the duration or make sure that this photo is staying on the screen longer in our animation, I would pick out a point where I wanted to extend it to. Let's say frame 20. I can just click frame 20 in the photo montage layer and we'll go up to our insert menu and under the timeline selection we can choose insert frame. Now this is something we're going to be doing a lot so it's good to note the keyboard shortcut for this is the F5 key. When I click insert frame you can see that a gray bar extends out to frame 20 which is what I had selected. Now let me click away from that and we can see that that gray bar has a dot at the beginning and a square at the end. And we're going to refer to this as a span of frames. So our photo montage is going to span 20 frames. If you wanted to increase that span you could simply just add more frames. I could go out here say to a couple frames past frame 20 and press my F5 key and you can see that that simply extends the current range. If you'd rather use the mouse to drag things around you can do so but watch out because if you just click and drag on that square you're going to create something completely different. So let me undo that. I'll choose edit undo and one more time to completely clean that out. That way we're back where we are and if you're working on the PC you'll want to use the control key and drag that last square frame. If you're working on the Mac hold down the command key. And once I have the key held down you see I get a different cursor here and when I click on the square ending my frame span I can pull it out and move it backwards and forwards wherever I'd like. Now also notice that we added our frames to only a single layer, the photo montage layer. And if you look at your stage you'll notice that everything else disappeared. So if I want to have everything else remain on my screen I'm going to need to add frames to those layers as well. In the Flash environment, we pretty much animate by layer. Now I can just go to each one of these layers and add a few frames using my F5 key. There I've created a 10 frame span for my camera icon and I could do a 15 frame span for my website sections. You can also add frames at once to several layers just by clicking on them. I can click right over here in my content panel layer and I can either shift click down in my background layer there you can see I've got two frames and two layers selected or I can click and drag down a little bit to accomplish the same thing and once I've selected frames in those two layers I can press F5 to increase frame spans for those layers as well.